So diseases have a number of mechanisms that they use to evade the immune system. For example, in cancer, they upregulate uh, I'm a normal cell signal and then they downregulate um, infected uh, signals or altered proteins that are going to give a clue to your immune system that this might be a cell that I need to destroy. Um, other diseases, for example, HIV, develop a surface around the viral cell uh, that is very hard for the immune cell to even interact with so that um, the immune cell doesn't recognize it as a, as a foreign cell and so it doesn't invade it. We specifically study CD8 T cells or cytotoxic cells um, or cytotoxic killer T cells that uh, work by recognizing infected cells based on receptors or proteins that they're expressing on their cell surface uh, so that they bind that cell and that binding event triggers an internal cascade that eventually really leads to the release of certain proteins like granzymes and perforin that kill the target cell and only the target cell so it doesn't have off-target effects on the rest of the healthy cells in the surrounding tissue. I think one of the great aspects of Hopkins that really drew me in was the spirit of collaboration. I think a lot of other institutions claim to be collaborative, but not many institutions create an environment where collaboration is really um, available and also highly encouraged. And it makes us uh, able to do projects that we would never be able to do on our own. For example, in my own work, I work with protein engineers, material scientists, biomedical engineers, pathologists, clinicians, um, all to make sure that we're not just developing an amazing technology, but also that we're looking ahead towards clinical translatability uh, so that hopefully the technology that we develop will eventually reach patients.